Okay, good evening everybody. As you can see, it's late. It's Wednesday night. So, uh, I just got done with church. We do our church services on at nighttime on Wednesdays. That way, people, because we're an all-faith church, and people usually go out to other services on Saturday and Sunday to other service at other churches and they come here to worship a more universal way a more about community environment than specifically what faith you follow but it's cold and I'm tired and I all I've really had today was berries sugar snap peas and hard-boiled eggs that I've snacked on all day long so I am hungry and I do want to make some sort of dinner, but I really don't want to deal with it. So, uh, what I make tonight, who knows? I'm going to start with probably making some bread using some of that cream soup that I made last night, the leftovers, as my liquid. And I think that should be an interesting mix into a bread. And I'll show you the steps as we go along. Okay, there's the bread that is made up of last night's soup and flour, yeast, and some water. And I'm just giving you a quick shot of it while I go wash the pan because my bread pan is all toasty and dirty. So I'm gonna go clean that up real quick and see you in a few seconds. Hello folks. It's, uh, I'm still cooking over there, but I'm actually over here at my zucchini plants using a lighter to find a zucchini that is small enough for tonight's dinner and yes I said small enough because I have more of a problem of getting too big of zucchinis that I can't eat all of it in time and that looks like a good one right there okay so I'm gonna take this zucchini and earlier I made some tea uh, it was during the time I was making the leftover fire from my boiled eggs that I showed you I was making earlier. Well, that tea had so much holy basil in it that it overpowered the mint 100%. to the point where all it tasted like was basil. Um, it tasted very much like I was eating a loaf of bread almost or trying to drink a loaf of bread. So I'm going to use that tea in the pot there and cut in the zucchini and make almost like a zucchini basil soup and that's what I'm going to be dipping my bread in so that I can do something just quick and simple before going to sleep tonight to have something for dinner all right I'll show you more as I get along hopefully you can see this here there's my bread loaf nice and toasty I've got it turned on its side right now so it would normally be sitting like that but uh what I've done is I've taken the bowl or the pan that I cook the bread in and I've tore a bunch of the bottom of the crusty good cooked well parts and now I'm gonna add my soup over here I'm just gonna pour my soup right into that and use that in my bowl for tonight all right hopefully my soup is warm How did, I see steam coming off the top here so I'm pretty sure oh yeah that that's a, a nice super hot soup evidently I was overcooking it probably even. Okay, so I'm going to pour that in there and, and have some uh, dinner. So that's tonight's dinner. Bread and basil and zucchini soup. Or basil mint zucchini soup. Talk to you guys later. Potato bread. Potato, mint, and zucchini soup. Potato roasted garlic bread, actually. Doesn't that look good, everybody? At least I hope it does to you. It looks good to me something done so quick and easy mm. yeah that was a rescue of that tea that turned out horrible great for soup 